throw hands. Thank you guys. Hello everyone and welcome back to Rohan's Corner once again. And this week I've got another mini review for you. And it's none other than Mech Fans Toys Thunderbolt, otherwise known as Generation 1 a Blitzwing in Legends Plus scale. <laughs> Reminds me of that two-faced loudmouth Blitzwing. And let's start off here by taking a look at the packaging. So we see he is MFT's Mechanic Studio MS28. You can see a nice artwork of Blitzwing there on the front with both alt modes depicted and his sword, but not showing his gun, although it is there on his tank mode. My box unfortunately got mashed in the post, as is the case with a lot of these uh, orders that come in from China, especially from AliExpress. Uh, on the side here, on the other side here we have some nice artworks and nice pictures of the toy on the back here we have all three modes fighter model mig 25 and tank model type 74 and warrior model just in case you were wondering he comes with an alternate face which is from uh, animated it's his sort of maniacal madman face and on the bottom here some warning signs and some more pictures of the alt mode so let's get straight inside the box and as is the case with these MFT bots, uh, especially the triple changers, you can see you get Blitzwing in his clamshell with his accessories. One, there he is in all his glory. You also get the instruction manuals, which you always get, but this time what they've done, MFT, is they've used the back of the second part to provide some advertising for upcoming figures. On the left is their new version of Springer, Falcon, MS-29, updated very slightly. And on the right is MS-24, otherwise known as Recyclers, or to you and me, Rekgar, or one of the Junkions, probably Rekgar. And so I'm looking forward to Rekgar, he looks really cool. I've already got the original uh, Springer figure, so I'll consider whether or not I'll go for that one, but we shall see. And so here is our boy Blitzwing in robot mode, sporting his sword and his gun. And I think he looks fantastic. Not just does he have a good chunky solid feel to him, but he's well proportioned. He's got what you would depict as the G1 real look. I've had a quick look at some of the cartoon episodes and it's very, very accurate. Minus some of the bits that they've put on for the G1 toy, like the size of the head. The rest is very, very accurate. He does sport a little bit of a backpack, but it's not too bad and it's actually in keeping with the cartoon accuracy. Obviously he has his turret there. One thing to note is his feet. They do have uh, the thrusters for the jet mode on there. So not the most stable of thing, but if you get it in the right position, then it's fine. And I just love the look of him. One thing I would say is that the face sculpt just has a sort of non-demeanor on him. I would have liked the scowl on there just because it's Blitzwing, but hey, that's me being picky as usual. And here he is to scale with some of his colleagues. We've got some Magic Square, some Hot Soldiers, some New Age, some of the War for Cybertron line, just to show how he goes with chug figures. But generally speaking, he's pretty hefty. You can see he's actually taller than Octane, taller than Magic Square's Perceptor by some way, even taller than Magic Square's Motormaster. He's just a smidge taller than MFT's blaster toy as well. Right, okay, here we go. Tank mode. And what I will say, first of all, is it is an absolute ball ache to transform this guy. The instructions are not good. However, um, once you get past the sort of shoulder issue of swinging them round up and down, which takes a little bit of ingenuity, if I'm honest with you, um, you will be fine and everything sort of just goes sort of normally into place as you would kind of expect logically things to tab into and actually it's a really nice tank mode you can see it cleans up really well everything sort of tabs into place quite well and the turret actually moves around you can remove parts of the barrel you can move it up and down and like some of the other figures that you see and you can actually shove his barrel forwards and backwards on the tank as well if you wish to do so i really like the tank it's a little bit on the small side but you know hey it's not too bad 
And so for scale here, we have a couple of other figures, Magic Squares, Wild Rider, Toy World, Whiskey Jack or Wheel Jack. Um, we've got Earthrise Runabout over there. Behind Blitzwing, we have Iron Trans's Smokescreen. So, you know, he's not small, but at the same time, he's not large. You can see he's much heftier than these small little cars here. And if we compare him on a one-to-one -one with Iron Trans smokescreen. He's not as long, which is not very accurate, but at the same time, he is much, much chunkier. I should point out that this stage, since MFT have gone to the trouble, that there is weapon storage either side of the tank treads, but ultimately, uh, you know, who's going to put that on there? It just doesn't look right and it sits out of place. Um, he does roll straight. He doesn't roll in any kind of curved manner. And of course, here he is in jet mode. The transformation from tank to, te to jet is a little bit better. There's still a fiddly part where you need to get these little wings out, which um, it doesn't tell you how to do it. Um, and you sort of have to mistransform the shoulders to get that in place. And the other piece to do is, it doesn't tell you this on the instructions, but the turret underneath you see here can actually fold in on itself. So if you just squeeze that in, it actually gives it an angle so it can sit up better and also, and also you get a couple of wheels here on the tank turret to help it sit properly when it's on a flat surface so it can be displayed nicely and yeah overall it's not a bad jet mode from the top it obviously looks like the G1 uh, Blitzwing jet as you saw in the cartoon uh, from the side there is a little bit of gappage and a little bit of kibble left over from other modes but it's not too bad you've got some nice blasters either side you can see the tank treads as you can see the little wings are there the main wings are there and obviously just like the G1 toy you've got the tank turret underneath and then you've got the thrusters round the back Okay, and for scale comparison here, I have Blitzwing up against Magic Square's Cosmos, MFT's own uh, Starscream figure there, who's about the right sort of size, I would say. Um, Blitzwing is much shorter as a jet, but in terms of thickness and in terms of, you know, his bulk, he's definitely the right size. And then right at the back there, we've got Commander Class Skylinks, who's obviously massively bigger. So what are my final thoughts on MFT Thunderbolt or Blitzwing? Well, I absolutely love the Blitzwing character. And while this is not perfect, it is definitely one of the better incarnations of the toy. Certainly, I have worries about these rivet joints here or these turning joints here where you have to move the entire shoulders round but ultimately for 22 23 pounds you know it's a fantastic little figure and it stands up well in comparison with his colleagues so should you go out and buy it definitely if you're a legends or legends plus collector i recommend him you won't get a better g1 aesthetic blitzwing in that scale for another week i've been rohan on rohan's corner catch you again back to the studio hey boys we've been rumbled well, let's bounce. <laughs>